Today we're going to try something really crazy. 23.9, close enough. These are very close to true O scale. You don't want to try this with a modern transformer. So this is based off of a real B&O caboose from 1916 up to 1938. That is not helpful. Now it is truth or consequences time. Part of the circuit is running through this wire arm here. Very simple but effective animation for the layout. Hello again, this is Mike with Toy Train Tips and Tricks. And what you're looking at right now is kind of a parts graveyard. Um, this is um, attempts that I have made at uh, a goal of creating a completely 3D printed uh, working truck for uh, my O27 trains. And even with the wonders of, um, you know, 3D um, part making, um, prototyping, and um, CAD programs, a lot of things that look great on the screen when you put them into the real world uh, and you have to deal with physics, they don't quite work the way they look like they would. So these are <laughs> trial and error attempts um, towards that goal of making a completely 3D printed truck for my O27 trains. But all is not um, in vain because all of those parts have led to this. Here I have, at this point now, this is a work in progress, but I have two prototypes for my 3D truck. Um, one of them, I've got a black wheel on here so I can tell the difference between the two. And the basic difference between these has to do with the way the, uh, the wheels attach to the axles. So I'm testing out two different designs. I've attached them, these finished trucks, onto an old caboose frame. And um, let's go see how these work on the layout and see if I'm on the right track. So um, these are a little rough. These are um, rough draft prints. So uh, they're a little ugly, but um, I should be able to uh, see if the concept works or not. And if so, uh, then I can worry about cleaning up the prints and working with different materials. This is working with your basic generic PLA, which is great for printing, but it's uh, kind of brittle and tends to show all of the, uh, the line layers. I would probably, once I get my stuff figured out, probably print it in uh, PET G or maybe even try my hand at printing in ABS or a styrene as we modelers know. But anyway, let's, uh, let's put this on the track and see how physics interacts with this 3D printed wheel set, these trucks. Be back in a second. All right, so here we are, our, my little test train. I uh, just put one car in front and one car behind. I uh, don't want to put this at the front of a train because these are completely plastic and a very light plastic at that. And so there's not a whole lot of weight there. Don't want to put it at the front of the train. But just for testing, I want a little bit of weight behind it, a little weight in front of it, and see how the forces affect what's going on here. So here we go in three, two, one. And we're off. So far, so good. Going through some turnouts, a little less curve. Oh, <laughs> and we lost the caboose. Okay, funny, the 3D printed truck made it through the switches okay, but the regular one didn't. Okay, let's try this again. Slow it down a little bit. Coming through, through there. What is wrong with my caboose? All right, test run, take three in three, two, one. And let's check out our trouble spot over here. Ah, oh, that's much better. Okay, so what this is telling me is that one of my axle designs seems to be working better than the other in making the adjustments around these S-curves. There we go. Okay. So that's given me a clue that axle design number one is superior to axle design number two, which is exactly what 
I wanted to find out with this test. Now that we've flipped around which one is leading, we seem to be running much, much better. Oh, spoke too Okay, I'm starting to think the problem was with the track. I made an adjustment to the turnout. It looked like it wasn't quite thrown all the way. So let's try again. This is take four. So far, so good. Yeah, that's smoother. I think the problem was actually the turnout and not the trucks. So again, these are test prints. Um, I'll have to make some accommodations to reduce some friction. Because right now these are really rough. There's some burrs on there that need to be sanded off or smoothed out some other way. If necessary, I could switch to uh, a metal axle, maybe with piano wire instead of the plastic. But the plastic seems to be working okay for this. And of course, I'd want to find a way to add some weight. So the advantage to these, if they work, is that they are dirt cheap. And that uh, all together in the, using PLA plastic, we're talking about 50 to 60 cents worth of plastic per truck. Um, versus you know, much, much more expensive than that for uh, old post-war trucks or new scale trucks, new all-metal trucks or fun trucks, you could be $30 a pair, whereas I'm looking at a dollar to a dollar twenty-five a pair on these. The disadvantage, of course, of plastic wheels, they're not going to be able to activate accessories using the insulated track sections. And being lighter in weight, you have to be more careful about train placement and backing up and switching. But it is a good start. So I think my prototypes are a go and I will move forward with the next step of putting these in uh, some better materials and see what happens. But as you see, this work in progress is working. Let me try. One more thing, let's back up the things. Okay, here we go. We're going to come to a stop. Neutral. And reverse. Hello. Oops. <laughs> Neutral. Reverse. There we go. Let's slow it down a little bit. Okay. We're, well, as I thought, the light weight is causing the back truck to just lift up because there's just no weight at all there. So backing is going to be a problem until I figure out the weight issue with these. But otherwise, they seem to be doing okay. All right, so there you have it. We'll keep you updated as we go. But there we are with our 3D printed trucks. Once I get the final design worked out, I will uh, definitely pass these on and make these free downloads. And we'll see what other cool stuff we can make out of these. Um, but until then, I'll... Uh, be back tinkering in the workshop to see what else I can come up with. So, hope you like it. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. And until then, keep the trains running, and we'll catch you next time on Toy Train Tuesdays.